By the way, how many people have met Gordon Dick personally in this period? Oh, no. okay. You did? No, I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, we try to invite them. We try to invite the people that they met them. Uh, got the infection, but nobody probably because they're very old. Better now than all of them are very old. Udell uh, was on the front of Kong. Okay, but then, then they decided not to go. I'm going to draw the uh, uh, chief cohomological family tree. So, no one has met Gordon there. How many people have met Sarah? Only one person? Or three? No, three person? Or oh, three person? Oh. Anyway, uh, since uh, this uh, conference and Gordon Dick, so I did draw this picture, and also uh, probably I should draw Andre Bell. How many people have met Andre Bell? I have two. <laughs> anyway, uh, I was curious about that. <clears throat> And also, if I mention this one, so same same generation of uh, uh, Haritan. I have not met uh, Haritan. Anyone has met H. Haritan? You have met oh, Haritan? Oh, I see. My son met Haritan, granddaughter. <laughs> anyway. Uh, <clears throat> My advisor uh, is uh, Professor Lukukin. I I suppose nobody has met Professor Lukukin except me. Am I right? Uh, earlier, uh, your Fukuoka talk, uh, uh, and that was published in 1957, right? In the early 60s, there there uh, uh, two three people proved the embedding theorem of Abelian category into subcategory of Abelian groups. So you can pick an uh, Anyway, uh, the life is much easier. The, he, he proved the embedding term when he was a freshman at Columbia University. It, he and his friend decided to a good time, so he decided to take graduate course. And uh, perfect time, uh, I remember the veteran category theory. Anyway, and his looks Christmas report. There was the embedding theorem. <laughs> anyway, the various parties start. Oh, but okay. Uh, uh, I was going to draw a little bit more picture. A uh, Kartan, if I may say Kartan, certainly I should mention uh, Oka, especially since I was born in Japan, uh, ready to over there. And uh, oh, I have met, by the way, Oka. I don't think anyone has met Oka. Okay, it would be impressive. <laughs> I remember this. Like small with this temple. I, uh, Oka gave us a talk in a small group. Uh, I remember the atmosphere when he walked in. <laughs> okay, anyway, uh, Oka and Sato. <laughs> Oka Rupa was the uh, influence of this famous Sato school. And of course, if I mention Sato, uh, we have to mention Kashiwara Kawaii. Uh, Kawaii, some of them. And uh, certainly, very strong influence. And Oka uh, Rupa is. It is younger than Kawaiya, so it's uh, they was actually, uh, by the way, uh, that he was my very close friend for years, 25 years. When I saw you, I was really moved. I tried to control the emotion. <laughs> anyway. I, I don't think I should be on any board on which the name is. Oh. <laughs> well, I should be on a separate piece of paper. <laughs> anyway, and the Gordon Dick certainly uh, influenced it. Uh, I have met him many times. Uh, anyone has met him? Oh, you have met him. Uh, anyway, this is the thing. And uh, in this school, uh, I, 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 uh, I studied periodic cohomology. Homology uh, from Professor Lodkin <clears throat> and, uh, uh, and uh, Zeta. And but my particular case was the uh, virus of Viasaurus family, which is a, an algebraic family. Uh, uh, traditionally, right this way. <clears throat> and uh, this is uh, basically. <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> 
uh, it's a, it's a, it's a ring, so it's an uh, algebraic bound. And my, my if I may mention my, my work, uh, explicit, explicit computation of zeta function uh, of the uh, virus bound. And the interesting part is this: uh, you con con consider uh, compute the H one. And uh, if you don't localize that discriminant, by the way, if I, today's talk work has to be this, I feel much more comfortable. But today I'm going to talk about consciousness. That makes me very uncomfortable. And so I, I ask you for the uh, uh, generous, more positive uh, uh, attitude for my later talk. Anyway, this girl is actually, some people talk about this. Uh, Real conjectures and zeta functions. So I'm just briefly, as I said, to mention this today. This is I'm improvising. And the interesting part is this: this is the virus. Uh, this is a case purely cohomology. Uh, so uh, this is uh, interesting part is this: uh, <clears throat> this guy is this. Uh, it's character characteristic, characteristic zero. Anyway. Uh, it's a, it's a, it's a computation is rather interesting. If you don't localize this one, uh, this is even a, a, a small finite generation. Uh, in order to be a good cohomology for a variety, it's got to be finitely generated. Otherwise, zeta function can be defined. Uh, uh, this case, how, if you localize over this, then if the, all the fibers are elliptical, no, no singular, uh, no, no double point, no cost. So this case, Generated by two, uh, two elements, and uh, you can find explicitly uh, which elements is actually generate the whole, whole first cohomology. In that, the, that's the case that you, we can talk about that someone talked about today too. Peak power map, Frobenius map. And Frobenius map, the characters P, you can lift the characteristic zero, and you can actually essentially any matrix of K except the reduction to the over P, it becomes a Frobenius map. That's the requirement. And there's a reasonable economical choice for the character P uh, map on, on the generators of the first cohomology. But anyway, I, I shouldn't, uh, I should stop this because it's hard to stop once I start. Anyway, um, so this is, uh, yeah, I was gonna say, this is actually, I wrote more uh, full uh, sheep cohomology uh, family here. Oh, this is rather interesting. I should say I can reach way up high there. I want to write Rima. How many people have met Rima? <laughs> By the way, I did. <laughs> Actually, I did in my room. And we do. So it's all right. So it was the last year I told them. And the Rima was like here, and I was here. And the, he was in 3D, you know, in the dream. So I didn't recognize who, who that was. It was kind of dark room, and Rima was very quiet. Someone came to talk to him, and I was and something like that. Oh my goodness, this is real man. And I kept the mouth shut. <laughs> it was a very polite uh, behavior in front of Rima. I shouldn't speak. Anyway, so uh, in my dream, I met Rima. It's, it's a symbolic action of me there. <laughs> there's what I can mention Rima. Okay, anyway. Uh, this is uh, 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 so the, the, some several people or, or lots of people. But it's interesting. Uh, Monsky, Peter Komology, uh, also the uh, Bork, Allenberg, and uh, uh, some uh, since I uh, time is shifted, so I bit uh, try to try to cooperate with that. Okay. Anyway. <clears throat> okay. I'll, so today's topic is this. Uh, uh, it's a gloomy local data, which has been the topic for, for several people. I noticed it uh, to obtain global context, and I try. I'll be very stupid uh, if I not wave my hand. <clears throat> so. Uh, in my abstract, I mentioned about uh, uh, hearing one note of a well-known music, just one note. We don't recognize what that is. Second note, probably it's difficult to guess. But third note, fourth note, you recognize, oh, 
oh yes, this is a famous uh, music. And uh, all of a sudden you recognize what the music is. And so that each note actually restriction of the understanding or the first note was of the famous music of that first note. The second note is, yeah, well-known music of the second note. And this is, I would like to be explicit, explicit about the, uh, uh, how, how to do this kind of thing. Okay, that's uh, today's uh, outcome a little bit later. Oh, one more thing. <coughs> uh, I'm 70, almost 74. Have you had this experience before, actually? Uh, so you, you go to a kitchen to get something. But when you go to the kitchen, you don't remember why you went to the kitchen. Have you had the experience that? Well, you say, oh, Any day. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, this is a crucial question because this is dependent upon your, uh, how many people you, you do the same because that's going to be a proof. Uh, how many people noticed that when you went to the kitchen and you forgot what the door was, when you're just about ready to leave the kitchen, oh, you remember what it was. By the way, I'm going to ask you this question. Ah, moment came before the actual me memory what that was. Okay, when you know, when you, you notice that you 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 discovered what your the reason why you came to check kitchen, but for example, to take a piece of chocolate before the piece of chocolate came to my mind, first your brain registered, yes, you got it. After then, what that was. How many people experienced that order? Oh, that you do. Okay, uh, open the case. And the mathematical, for example, your mathematical discovery, which probably I'll formulate that today, um, since uh, the mathematicians here and the mathematical philosophers. Also, you are struggling with solving the problem for months or years. Uh, according to Oka, he worked on about seven years. <laughs> anyway, when you notice, oh, finally, I got it. That one, also, you feel the same. First, you give your relief, you got it. After then, more explicit, oh, methods proof or explicit idea come a little later. Okay, please remember this. I'm, I asked you, and some people think yes. Okay, the order. Anyway, <clears throat> so uh, this is, so I should say what? Well, Recognition, understanding, in you know, explicit in terms of reaching. Uh, this is the area of psychology. So today's particular topic is psychology. And the other one is biology, which is, uh, for example, my friend in New York asked me be behavior or the call me of follow me of the uh, leaf carrying ants. And that is uh, in the individual uh, ant, <coughs> maybe carrying a leaf waiting for the uh, nest. That is a rather trivial thing. And the sun and even the light, like right on the leaf too, as a look up. So individual behavior is rather trivial, but as a colony, it's very well organized because they put a certain leaves and so they make a fermented and become a food. So as a colony, uh, you, we have a phenomenon called the colony of ants. And that is that exists. It's in a way, it's a global, global uh, object exists. Then, if you have that understanding of the, of the colony, individual, you can explain the individual and to even though individually trivial, but <laughs> as a whole, it's, you can again restrict to the individual one. You can explain why they do so to have a colony to survive. That kind of uh, common theme I would like to uh, list. Okay, that's my, and then, oh, of course, uh, this is also an uh, important part. This uh, approach is in a way very much like uh, avatar. Because for example, if consider an electron, I always associate with a pre-sheaf against this knowledge. And also, no other electron corresponds to this. In a sense, this corresponds to this one to one. So this is in the universe, this physical universe, we associate the uh, a pre corresponding to this. I say corresponds to this one to one. And I do not say 
every pre-ship, you can find something in the universe, I didn't say. So in a way, more pre-sheet than actual particles in this universe. Okay, this is also like connected with the uh, Penrose famous triangle. Uh, uh, mental, platonic, mathematical world. And uh, this is physical world. And this guy is a biological uh, living world. And uh, he drew an interesting triangle. I want to come back to this to, to connect what I'm going to say. Uh, okay. So that, that is also related. Not, not every cliche uh, may not have any concrete particle that is in Okay. <clears throat> also, if you start physics, then we should really specify wave particle duality, uh, non locality in the sense of uh, uh, EPR, also entanglement, double slit, extremely important. Uh, uh, Experiment uncertain principle as a most fundamental nature seems to be quantum uh, physics. Also, light cone. I want to introduce that light cone as, as quickly as possible. And the obvious nasty part is the gravity. Uh, I have not satisfied with the formulation yet. Big bang, dark energy, a measurement. I was trying to make a uh, measurement to models and Planck scale. And this is related to the uh, uh, micro uh, micromorphism a little later. Sure, please hold it for the forces, even though you don't have forces. Mm -hmm. uh, and also philosophy. Today I would listen to a philosopher and then I go to express that's fascinating. My goodness, <laughs> very uh, different category of people. I noticed that uh, <laughs> many went from my, from my head, but uh, that's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, if you have a bit different feel, you have no idea what the other person is talking about. <laughs> so, Woody Allen's famous joke uh, please ask any questions you like, you, you like whose answer I know. <laughs> That's a requirement. Anyway, okay. And the philosophical part, which I will make it very clear what they, I'm going to say about this in a minute. Uh, so, uh, there is a concept as a usually as a divine thing, omni something. Omnipotent, omnipresent, omniscient, or something like that. And I will uh, give you a candidate for this existence, which is, I should say, at this moment, it's the initial initial object in the category of three sheets. And why I want to call that one uh, the uh, omni something, uh, I'll explain the reason why. As a constant factor, the initial uh, initial. So, uh, Oh, okay. And I have, I would like to the climate change in the economy uh, because the economy is a trivial thing individually, but as a, as a whole country, it's a globally, uh, it's a phenomenon. So I don't know how to formulate it at this moment, but if you, if you know something about this, you can, you can give me a hint. Okay. Anyway. <clears throat> oh, okay. I better okay. improvise too much. Okay, uh, let me see. Uh, let's go to the uh, basic notion now. <clears throat> okay, let's start with the. Uh, let's start with the uh, definition. Good idea. Definition. So let Q be a pre sheet. Pre sheet uh, over a Fact, yes. And this is not, uh, even, uh, I want to have a more research on this, but at this moment, it is okay. Okay. The, uh, <clears throat> okay. When <clears throat> uh, this is defined for some object V inside S. We say, we say uh, <clears throat> Q is reified, reified at B. Okay, that's first dimension. Second dimension. <clears throat> Let's observe uh, two, oh, okay, I'll give it a name, actually. <clears throat> then, <clears throat> then uh, Q, 
B is said to be in the four particle state. Otherwise, otherwise, when it's not evaluated, when it's not real time, this is in in uh, or wave state. Okay, and the next uh, <clears throat> definition. Let's observe. Uh, uh, Q twice. So shall we say Q and we, we I observe it again Q at the Q B prime. So this is before, this is after. So then <clears throat> then uh, <clears throat> there exists there exists uh name is maybe not so uh, uh, G, V2, V prime is said to be <coughs> said to be uh, T linear. T stands for temporal, tem temporal linear. So in this case, this goes that way. This is a arbitrarily uh, induced morphism. Okay, I didn't say very much about the what where the value is. Uh, well, Daniela, you may recall, we can consider this a product, product category, each category where we can talk about some kind of a magnitude or some kind of a physical uh, scale. Can be used. Anyway, so this is, you can consider this in the categories. Anyway, this is not Q of Q of uh, G. It's complementary. <clears throat> okay, <laughs> then we can say, <clears throat> Then we can say uh, we can say G. Well, we can say in many ways to say. Then V prime is in the uh, T T com in in the uh, side S. So T com means here is the uh, V, and this is this is uh, G. B prime is a bit T linear. So this is before, this is after. And you can go like this. And so here it's what so this is like uh, uh, come in uh, you you with your sense, but this is I am I'm doing this uh, like this. Okay, when you have uh, this kind of a uh, I said Krishi, actually I should say temporal Krishi T. We should to change the name because of the restriction we have. So this kind of thing, not completely uh, character that you get, but this kind of restricted site and the restricted uh, <clears throat> functor, controlled functor, we simply can say uh, T Krishi, T site, T topos, topos in the category of entire T Krishi. Uh, and this with the uh, Break frame I want to work with. Okay. <clears throat> Next. Uh, okay. Next, I want to talk about non canonical, non canonical uh, morphism, <clears throat> which we, we do. For, for example, uh, we can observe, oops, we can observe electron, uh, and uh, this is also, you know. A part, you know, four particle state. Sometimes I'm sloppy when I may say particle state, but four particle state in, this, in, the, in, the, in the sense of this definition. We can, this is observation morphism. This is, uh, I can call that. So you, you, can, you can pretend you, you are the you're human being. This is <clears throat> so the human, it's an entity, so they're correspond appreciate. Okay, so. Usually, if you observe uh, V, this was little later, this is killing you. It takes time. And they use uh, observation really close. You can you can replace V prime by V. But I want to talk about the uh, uh, 
uh, special relativity sensitivity discretions. That's why, in general, if someone you know, observe uh, some particle in, in that t, t in the t topos, it's there's a time time delay. So this is okay. this is precious to like anyway. This is this is non-canonical morphism. And in case, in case, uh, in the case, in the case, E happens to be this Q cell, then this guy looks like this Q, V, and Q, V prime. And this is non canonical. Uh, <clears throat> this is, excuse me, non canonical. This I wrote vertically here. So this is. Uh, this so should be a big different letter. Maybe I should say this is from a uh, e to e to q, and uh, let's say no, they should develop it. So this is uh, f q to q. This is not now because it's related to the what we talked about the uh, remembering why you went to the kitchen. Okay, this is uh, there's a name. This is called this monophism. Is a this is the uh, observation or measurement that you, you measure the state of electro, uh, electron E at the at B by observer Q over B, B1. So actually we should write more B to B prime, something like that, but it's a little bit messy. So I'm going to do it. So I'm doing a special case. E happens to be, for example, yourself. So this is this. This is called um, um, the nomic So observation, this is called observation, observation morphism. When the particular case uh, happens to be uh, Q to Q in the two different times, this is uh, nomic. Uh, this is uh, something to the memory uh, morphism. Okay, uh, <clears throat> earlier, since uh, Q is the controversial factor. This guy is, uh, I mentioned about the uh, Q, G, this canonical, this is the reverse. Okay, then I want to connect with this portion, I can be right, right? Am I right? I think I should erase it. Okay. So let's uh, connect with the, uh, <clears throat> I'll check the time. Okay. Oops. Probably quick early enough people can come grouchy from the hungry. So <laughs> okay, here it is. So I let me draw the picture. B B first. This is non-canonical morphism from Q to Q prime. And uh, initial this is like alpha is an initial initial alpha is initial omega is the terminal object in the uh, category of three sheet. So this guy is a constant factor. So I can write anything like that, but it doesn't. Uh, if you have anything is uh, assigned the initial object in the uh, range category. So this guy kind of picture looks like this. this uh, for the initial uh, initial object. So this is the unique uh, unique uh, unique morphism. Uh, this is uh, called a Q and uh, evaluated. This is so this is a natural transformation morphism between. Uh, <clears throat> oh, I'll say this way. This is delta Q evaluated up here. So this itself is a natural, it's a morphism of uh, functor. So it's a natural transformation. And evaluate at the uh, B and evaluate this one. And this is the uh, memory, uh, monomic, monomic morphism. <laughs> Okay, this is basically uh, basically it's this. Uh, so it could be even a big, big, big case. So <clears throat> you went to the kitchen. I don't remember. All of a sudden, oh yes, that was. So how do I formulate the you remember this stage? This guy is this when canonical one is this one. So this is G. Uh, no, no, what was that? G, no, 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 Q, 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 G. 
this is the actually that's why I decided to use this about this name, you know. Still remember. Okay, yeah, that's uh, that's that's what we talked about observation. Okay, so I hope so far it's consistent in my uh, formulation. And also a little bit more physics in a, in a way. Uh, I talked about I talked about uh, okay, already important. Uh, let's let's pretend uh, something Q V again and uh, Q V V prime, and this is again linear linear morphism in S. Okay, so this goes like. That. Okay, say so this is we uh, state uh, at one state. Let's say wait one second, one second. So uh, if it is possible to be uh, or particle states between one second, so probably it's reasonable to factor this v two v prime and each is my micro. Morphism, which I'll explain, my micro linear morphism, uh, which I don't remember the uh, number, it is 10 to the 10 to the 30 or 40. Uh, Planck, Planck's, uh, Planck time. It's a 10 to the minus something. So this number of the factorization is uh, whatever. So this, this n is equal to. In the tally, I don't really know. Uh, so, so and uh, uh, each micro, this is called this is a most refined factorization between V and V plus. So V1, VI, VI plus one. Then we define this is a micromorphism. If this guy is factored by this another one. Then either this or this it must be isomorphic, or this is isomorphic. Uh, that's way it is. Okay. <clears throat> so uh, I, uh, Planck length was a little bit uh, I was uh, uh, used here to introduce micro micromorphism. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> okay. I may come back to this a little later. All right. Uh, oh. Yes, another definition. Definition is scary because you commit to yourself, and uh, I hope it's not called as a ridiculous contradiction. Uh, we say we say a pair, a pair of uh, Q and Q prime is again I use E entangled. Entangled. If this pair, which I call the Q, Q star, Q star, the pair acts as one uh, pressure. So this guy acts Q. So this is the uh, <clears throat> simultan simultaneous. So there's uh, uh, in simultaneous. Uh, it's a B simultaneous. Uh, so in this sense, actually, uh, actually we, we have been calling that uh, note. Note that an object, object in, in the in a T side, T side is called called a generalized. Time period. So uh, actually, we try to uh, uh, use an object of T as a parameter for the various uh, uh, towards particle states of a particle associated region. And so uh, T side plays the role of time. <laughs> That's the basic idea. Okay, let me see. Uh, <clears throat> yes, this is a portion. So let me see. Uh, I asked you earlier. So, <clears throat> so let us assume again. This is this is uh, T linear. 
This is a map. G linear. Oh, we call this one today's so G delta. Let this guy. Okay. So we have uh, for our Q V Q V prime. And this is our okay. So this is the definition initial object. That's Q, Q evaluated V. This guy's uh, Q evaluated V prime. Here's the <laughs> they run by the, the number of votes that you, you raise your hand. Uh, this DQ, this natural translation, uh, induces induces uh, what did I what did I today? Uh, this, I, I think S S I S S V induces induces a dynamic dynamic uh, morphism. Find your experience. Okay. Now, uh, <clears throat> now, uh, oh, yes, I would like to know or oh, do I can formulate how uh, is how to formulate the uh, will because when you try to remember, you have a strong will, but but. Why the reason why you, you went to the kitchen? Uh, that's a some kind of a desire. A will, if you have a will, this uh, B prime may be dependent upon the uh, uh, will. And uh, as we experience, this guy always come first, and this guy later. Uh, actual concrete memory, what that was. And I would like to know how to formulate the will how to, in, in this formulation. Which I, I have not committed anything yet. Okay, now let's uh, go down, down to the. Uh, uh, oh, okay, I. Benjamin, how, how many minutes am I have? Can't be that. Forty-five. minutes. How did we meet before lunch? Uh, I tried to be. Entertaining. Okay, here it is. <clears throat> uh, let's uh, again. You can do uh, as I said uh, the earlier. There can be many examples. Uh, like, uh, for example, when you today, I you say today I met uh, lots of people for the first time, and I have no idea what the other person did, and I was talking, uh, chatting maybe first uh, ten minutes, and then next day we we'll, we'll meet the same person again. You talk about ten minutes. And the next day, you, then you are getting what kind of person this is. And you, you're a good old friend, if you know each other for 30 some years, you know the whole person is. And uh, then you can again restrict, go back to the, in the past. Oh, yeah, that's not contradicting. That's why you have a global image of the person much later time. That kind of thing I want to formulate next using this uh, dynamic model. Okay, and the mathematical discovery as I mentioned. Okay, here it is. Uh, <clears throat> so I want to consider. You can think you anything you want. Uh, uh, you want to be. So this is all all uh, t linear. In near near uh, linear morphism. Morphism. Okay, and uh, so I gave a name. Oh, I changed to A H. Okay, H, and this one, this is H. So say you can think Q is U. This guy goes Q, B n minus one. So let's uh, Q H in N. You know. What I'm <clears throat> so this is right here. Q V1, now this is Q V prime. Okay, so this guy is what did I say? Well, this guy is Q H1. This is canonically uh, induced, uh, punctorially induced. And then this guy we have. 
like that. Okay, so <clears throat> now uh, let me focus again. Uh, this is canonical case. Okay, uh, the domain morphism goes this way. <laughs> For example, as I said, you can talk about the, uh, this moment, maybe two years later, you finally you uh, Q V. And this guy is uh, a Q uh, V N. Like that. Okay, sorry. Yeah. So, uh, mathematical discovery, you, you worked on the problem. Of course, there are some other times when you're eating, but at the same time, you will be sleeping. So, those are, I'm skipping them. Those are the time you are thinking about mathematical problem to solve or something like that. That's when you spend this one moment and this one, and this is the first B, first B. So this is a, if V is the first B, because much more you can spread more sophisticated way, but that before this to be checked. First B, so that, uh, delta B I, this guy, whatever something is around here, this guy, this B I is the uh, when you got so it goes delta Q B and canonical, canonical. So this is the I say uh, canonical one is what's that? Q, let's see, Q what? Uh, Q, I, I, it doesn't matter, Q, I minus one, and Q, B, one. So this, uh, this guy, this guy is, and before you reach the complete understanding, this struggle you had, is nothing but the uh, final discovery moment in backwards. This is the uh, formulation for mathematical disco discovery. This very moment, and also and also all kinds of things. all commutative. All the triangles come for commutative. Each commutative, each triangle commutative, then any any side of the commutative. And this is, uh, for example, if we understand the understand the personality you've got a pretty good idea then which is not uh, totally inconsistent with the early observation is exactly this but in my opinion this is uh, just a formulation of that okay <clears throat> that's one of the things i wanted to say today and also by the way uh i should say uh okay when this happens this happens uh we say that when this happens means this uh, this this guy. When this guy happens, this guy happens. Uh, this sequence only linear. Uh, this uh, <clears throat> so for for simplicity, I can write this B B I. So probably this is. Is I go that way. Uh, B no 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 no. That's it. G or H H I composed H one. This is uh, efficient enough. Enough. Enough for Q at B. This is just the if, if this holds. So that was long struggle enough for me. And uh, uh, <clears throat> this is the cover uh, B, I, B, J, and the B. And uh, this, you can define the product a J cross B, I over B. This, just add 
and it's also universal matrix, right? So it's a right. anyway. So that's uh, formulation of mathematical discovery or recognition or understanding after several uh, stages of the work. And that's the reason that I would like to call Alpha as a source of consciousness and a, a source of consciousness and a probably help itself. It's, it's a, uh, it's a, <clears throat> this natural transformation is a, this is a consciousness, uh, natural transformation. And if you specify of who, say Q, and you say when over, so the only itself is a consciousness, consciousness. That if you specify an uh, entity, consciousness of Q, when V. Uh, so that's at least it didn't make sense in my view. Anyway, <clears throat> okay, so that's, uh, <laughs> if you like, mysticism. Uh, I don't know what will happen to Tama, not to Tirinium. Tirinium is outside the Tikam. So it, it's not in the same universe. So I, I would assume something like that. It's, it's not a cool thing to do when we talk about mathematics. Okay, so let me see. <clears throat> That's, uh, okay, how many minutes did you say? Two minutes. In some Japanese, right? But it's very punctual. You know what it's like? Yeah. <laughs> what was the nature of the function? I heard the uh, interview of a Scottish man who had a date in the middle of the door, and he, he went there uh, at exactly five o'clock when the appointment was, and she was there. And uh, she was very upset. You are late. He said, Oh, yeah, I'm exactly five o'clock. I knew it made me wait in this council. So next day, okay, he's the five minutes before. And she was there. And then she thought, how dare you can be late? I came here first. So he decided to went to one, one of our uh, one of our early. Then she he saw she's coming <laughs> and uh, happy. <laughs> anyway, okay. Uh unfortunately, I don't have to worry about that at my age. Okay. Uh, a few things I should say. Uh I should mention the what kind of thing I'm talking about, about how to treat a colony of or society of entities like a human society or uh, a colonial ants. So colony says Q. Uh, <coughs> oh, this is, I want to write in a direct report. The, uh, no, no, uh, direct sum. Uh, so it goes, like that, always goes back. Okay, and uh, the reason is this: if the P is observer, uh, let me specify one. If, the, if you observe again like that, then that means if you see on the bit global picture of the colony, and by composing those two guys, this is the I don't know. I said K K I. Uh, so this guy is uh, observation of the value S. S. S is Q2, Q2P in this case. So this is Q2P uh, <coughs> composed KI. Then if you understand the observe the entire colony, you, are, you can uh, understand the individual ant behavior. And even if you replace this guy as a human society, again, that's prophetic functioning. Nowadays, I don't have confidence about this human society functioning very well. Yeah. And also individual behavior, that's a part of a colony or society. You, you understand by composition, by observing this. Okay, anyway, that's a, just a short comment. I didn't say anything. Uh, <clears throat> uh, do that also, if I may say, say so. Uh, again, uh, this... Uh, you can consider this as covering again, covering again, uh, and uh, <clears throat> you can consider the uh, object Q, QI, delta QI 
and uh, for this is a category of this object category whose object is this, and then you can uh, function goes just a cheap QI. So this is a, a uh, canonical, you can put a canonical topology on the course, uh, T topology, and uh, you can talk about the game, uh, hybrid category if you like. <clears throat> okay, um, uh, oh, yes, it's of course. I have to mention about the Penrose, uh, uh, Frank, which probably many people know. He drew a picture like this. <clears throat> He drew a picture like this. I drew a similar picture too. Two, three things. And this top is the uh, mathematical platonic world. And uh, this is Penrose. And this guy is a uh, this is world. And this guy is a uh, uh, biological mental world, biological mental world. And he drew a picture like this. Like that. Actually, later in the book, I noticed that he does a little bit more fancier than this. But earlier one, that's the way he drew. And this guy was like that. <laughs> And uh, this, the reason for this is this. Uh, <clears throat> the reason is this portion is this. Not every mathematical concept is relevant to physical law. So he does this. And next one, this one. This one is, uh, uh, this one is, uh, there, are, uh, there are some physical objects which are not living, not animate, so that. And this guy is, uh, uh, what's that? yeah, oh, this is, uh, oh, huh? yeah, yeah, this is, uh, <clears throat> uh, let me see. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, this is, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, that's true. Uh, beauty or something they love is, uh, is uh, it cannot be uh, formulated. Mathematically, did I do the wrong thing? Oh yeah, this is um, biological mental world. Biological, no, I have to name all handwriting. Mental, mental world. So this is uh, this this portion. Um, this, this I'm going to do this. Okay. Uh, what I want to do is this. <clears throat> uh, I want to talk about some philosophers here. Uh, temporal is P. This is basically. Go directly. Uh, this is very loose. loose. Uh, this is TV. Physical world came first after the bio biological uh, creature developed. And, and the other one, uh, <clears throat> amoeba or something, the one cell element, uh, they don't have a certain platform of mathematical one. So this is killing a TV. Then naturally, we would like to do. This, <clears throat> by the way, this is uh, actually uh, idealism in the more like Eastern philosophy. Uh, before the uh, physical world, uh, this uh, super spiritual or uh, uh, mental world existed. It's more Eastern thought. Uh, realism is a reverse. Uh, <clears throat> realism is, 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 of course, the uh, disorder. By the way, this is uh, what the thing was. Uh, I thought uh, so we can do this. And this guy like this, and this guy like this, and obviously contradiction. How do we avoid this contradiction? It's the uh, inter introduction of the initial object alpha. Then we don't have this contradictory thing. And uh, this, this portion is. Depend upon the your view. Oh, I want to avoid that. <clears throat> okay. That. Okay. Uh, so uh, I'm going to sum up here quickly. Uh, so, uh, menom uh, menomic morphism. 
that's the characterization of Q is it's just a matter QB QB prime Q B and uh, this is for the without life. So if this is it, if this exists, it characterizes ability to uh, how to uh, you you this is a all the information, all the state you you can remember the earlier states. This is the if Q is uh, uh, <clears throat> animate entity, then uh, this this one exists. So if I have heard that even the one cell creature, they know how to make a short shortcut to the whatever they want. So that's almost indicate I feel more comfortable introducing this as a ultimate uh, con conscious source because single cell certain does the brain and that they should be able to learn, but they do. So where the information is coming from, I just say from initial object to focus. That's my uh, philosophical view. By the way, if you are interested in the uh, uh, Eastern uh, ancient uh, uh, Indian philosophy, seems to be Indian the source, I guess. Uh, Alpha, probably Indian philosophy, they call that one Bra uh, Brahma. That's what the uh, Alpha is. Uh, in Japanese, it's called Bon, Bon Ten, also. Bon Gai, it's a joke. That's, that's, that's a Japanese word. So Bra Brahman is more famous. And also uh, another one, Utsunia's Upanishad or Vendada. There's another important concept. Atman. Atman is may correspond to delta itself. And at least I couldn't find any contradiction for, for that kind of approach in, in the ancient Indian philosophy. Anyway, so what I should say a little bit uh, basic approach is alpha is here, you are any entity. This is, by the way, I didn't have time to mention about this. Uh, was it, is it a uh, terminal object? And this is with the Q, this is sigma. I didn't say anything about sigma today. Uh, I have been talking about this one earlier, but this is the fundamental to exist in the T corpus world that this triangle can be. I think that's about it. <laughs>